today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, this is the National Football League. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. And the throw left sideline here is caught. Sean McVay unhappy on the sidelines visibly. He's made the decision to reach for the red flag. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. The shotgun snap for Stafford. Dancing to his left. Shrugs him off. I'm not sure he falls under the category of mobile quarterback, but he's athletic enough that if you don't keep your rush lanes intact, he finds a way to hurt you. As coaches like to say, I wouldn't call him a burner, but enough there in the tank. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big play that time through the air, 35 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. To throw once more on second and 10, Stafford. That's caught by Jackson. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Throwing again on second and 10. Stafford escaping the pressure right. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon. And, get and he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers taking it in from two yards out. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Taylor now from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Newton. 
And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Well, Aaron Donald just so strong, they can't block him. And he records the sack. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Eight yards on the run there, and that trims it to a third and 11 coming up. Newton to throw. Henry's got it out on the left side. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Here comes Webster. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now it's Stafford. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And that will make it 10-0 here in the first. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. To throw again on second down. Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Here's Newton. Fourth down. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Webster now to return. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. 
So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now Stafford. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Going up top for Cup. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Rams on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Going up top for Cup. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot, but the coverage up to the task, and it forces a fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Gunnar Olszewski deep for New England. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off the draw, here's Michelle. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. That's to his running back, Sony Michelle. And he's going to have the first down as he's marked down just shy of the 20. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Now a first down throw for Newton. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. Here's Newton. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Deshaun Jackson, 31 yards. And the Rams are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and that makes our score 17-0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Getting set to go again here, Cam Newton marches back onto the field. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Returnable here from the 38. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Rams are gonna start this drive in great field position as they take over. Here comes Matthew Stafford now to lead his offense back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off and then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Stafford now to throw. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And Gay knocks this one through. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. On second and nine, Newton, this complete left side to Aguilar. The reception good for seven. It's third down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Leonard Floyd picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. To throw is Stafford. Got a man, it's Higby complete. And he's brought down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big connection on that one. 30 second in the yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Michelle. Well, the ball is out. Michelle lost it. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. To throw is Newton. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. Fielded at the 20. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent, just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged, how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far, they'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's gonna get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. On first down, Stafford here. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. A big play there for L.A. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll run here with Akers. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Akers again, They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Stafford will get, and he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Matthew Stafford punching it in from a yard away. And the Rams have got it on cruise control. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will extend this big lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. On the return is J.J. Taylor. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing is Newton. And his
this throw is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On second and ten, Newton. That's complete into the hands of Myers. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. To the air again, Newton. It's caught. This is White. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. So not only do they get the fumble recovery on the punt, but now look at this field position. He almost took it the distance. And the ability to not just make the play, but turn it into something big, that's what coaches harp on all the time. Touchdown, Patriots! James White, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. Nick Folk for the point after. And the lead drops from 34 to 27. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. On oh, the return, Simba Webster from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. We've got a lopsided game here. I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold on a second. Let me, let me thumb to the proper page on that. Know what it says? What? Let's discuss how we got here. This is a dominant performance, where they took control of this game, how they've managed to keep control of this game, and then we go ahead and think about how we're going to leave here and get to the airport. In a lopsided blowout, the roads are usually open. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Henry Anderson there on the stop. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. That's a strong running. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. 42 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They'll give this to Akers running right. And some room to maneuver. A little track jump. And he almost made it, but just short. Finally out of bounds, right down around the goal line. A big play there for L.A. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll look to run with Henderson, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive goes eight plays. The pass is the line, ready to go. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left, because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it, because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. 
Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. From the gun, here's Newton. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. The Patriots send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded at the 33. A great return there of 22 yards. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our Harkin crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.